in the beginning, it all started this way. Back when the man was caveman, and it wheel, he invented the wheel, and here we go, the wheel. Actually, Booth Memorial <laughs> Park's history starts a little bit later than that. The Booth family willed 34 acres of rolling landscape to the town of Stratford in 1945. The cornerstone of the park is the Booth family homestead, built in 1840 on the foundation of a 1660s colonial home. Booth Family Homestead boasts that it's America's oldest homestead, though this claim is pretty flimsy. Even in its application to the Historic Society, the historian analyzing the property said it was an intense, if inaccurate, interest in local history. As we look over the grounds, we see the Redwood Building, also known as the Technocratic Cathedral. Constructed in 1933, it was built to house exhibits of art and mechanical invention. Built entirely out of a single redwood tree, everything was made without nails and constructed with wooden dowels instead. Another humorous aspect to it, the cathedral is that it was intended to have genuine marble floors, yet not containing any marble. Instead, they were to embed thousands of marbles into a cement floor. Booth Memorial Park is filled with a million stories, most of them legend or myth or rumor or straight out lies. Joseph Melnick, once caretaker of Booth Memorial Park, stated, Oddity attracts curiosity. This is definitely prevalent as there's an anything to get you to the park mentality, even saying that it. they have the Charter Oak. Oh, nope. and the, I, the lady... You called yesterday. Yeah, I called on Friday. Maybe we're at the wrong building. There might be another building. Drawing people to the park doesn't seem to be a problem. However, getting guided tours seems to be a problem. We were unable to find a tour guide. However, we were able to find plenty of miniature lighthouses and other ridiculous ornamentation along the landscape. Nevertheless, Booth Memorial Park proves to be a very beautiful landscape that can spark the interest of future historians. If anything can be the aura of mystique that goes with historiography.